It was only a week or two after the 1994 World Cup in football. Yes, football, not soccer and not American football. Here in the United States, Sweden became third. They won the bronze. And uh, it was a nice summer, warm day. My friends and I were out in the square in Malmo walking around. Um, I believe it was around evening time, beautiful, nice weather. And then suddenly out of the blue, out of nowhere, a beautiful rumbling sound comes behind us. And what do we see? Yes, we see one of the Swedish footballers, Martin Dahlin, pull up into the parking lot in a convertible cabriolet, uh, black on black. I believe 1994, right around that time when the car had just come out in Europe, first year in the US was 95, black on black, Ferrari 355 Spider. They released this car a little bit earlier in um, Europe and in 95 uh, they released it in the United States. You can only imagine, we had just heard about the car, we knew it was coming and then you see one of the famous Swedish footballers being one of the first people who has that car and comes into your town, small town square and us being teenagers, I was 17, my friends, the other friends were also 17, seeing this car, the Ferrari 355, just completely blew our minds away. It was love at first sight, apart from seeing it in the magazines, of course. And uh, ever since then, I have not been able to stop thinking about this amazing car. BMW, Lamborghini, and Ferrari are my top three favorite car brands and a couple different models within each segment. I've said that in the past and now I have, my circle has come uh, full and I have all three cars in my presentation. And I've either had them in the past or currently have them and what have you. The Ferrari 355 was made from 1994 to 1999. It replaced the Ferrari 348 later it got replaced by the Ferrari 360. A total of 11,000 cars were made for, during that five-year production time. The large majority of them were uh, Spiders, the Berlinettas are the most popular, as well as the GTSs that were the least amount made and now as classics they are the most popular and sought after cars of the, of the bunch. These cars were made in both six-speed manual transmission and six-speed uh, F1 transmission. Uh, this car was the first ever Ferrari to be produced with the F1 transmission. While it had its own fans, it also had its own people who didn't like it. It was a bit of a glitchy system. I've driven both and I can both and I don't see any problems with both. I'm an advocate of both. This beautiful, amazing car that we have uh, is a 1995 model with a manual six-speed with only 15,000 original miles on it. And it has a azzurre color with a black, dark blue interior. It, was, it had an engine ser out service back in 2020. It is a well-sorted car and I've gone through everything to make sure that it's all sorted and good to go. One of the best parts about a Ferrari 355 is the exhaust sound. It is the most beautiful, finely tuned, orchestrated, high pitch, natural sounding. incredibly amazing like back then. Uh, anywhere you go with this car you'll get her heads turned. People just absolutely love them. They're in love with them. Uh, it, it is just something to behold. It is exotic and it's very easy to drive. It has power steering. The clutch is light. The car is really low, so it makes it a bit difficult around bumps and whatnot. You have to come in on extreme angles. But other than that, um, 
it's, it's really, really easy to drive. Again, the Berlinettas and the GTSs are the most popular, followed by the Spiders that are pure, natural California cars. Uh, these tops on these are pretty uh, known for being a little bit of gremlingy, so uh, we've uh, made sure to uh, make sure that hydraulics and all the uh, fluids and everything is right on it, so it functions well. <laughs> One of my friends, who is also a well-known B80 seller, says, if the stars, the moon, and, and, and the sun are all aligned, <laughs> these tops would work. Uh, we're not here to pretend anything. It was like that from factory. That's how they made it. Unless somebody comes up with a new upgrade modded version of these tops, I think they're all gonna be a little bit of a gremlin me overall. But my recommendation is, I have a uh, friend who is an original owner, uh, Ferrari 355 Spider uh, guy. And he said the day he brought it home, from the dealership, he put the top down, he put the cover on, and he has never ever since opened it again. Why? Well, it's because he said, I bought this car so I could cruise around the ocean or Sunset Boulevard or Hollywood Boulevard. If I wanted a roof, I would have just gone and bought a Berlinetta. So why even bother? It's the whole beauty and niceness about it is the fact that it's, um, top down and you get to enjoy and I 100% agree with him from me to the next owner leave the top down and just enjoy it as a, as, as a uh, spider because you get the wind in here you get the beautiful sound coming straight out the car feels great it's agile it's fast and you get to experience the summer now that we are right about to get into April you're going to have if you live in a colder co climate April May, June, July, August, and even September with this car. Beach, Sunset Boulevard, your own boulevard, you name it, downtown Chicago. Enjoy the heck out of it. It is one of the best and cleanest Ferrari 355s in the classic world that I've seen. It drives really, really nice and smooth. We did a bunch of work to it as well. Have a look at the invoices, you'll see what I mean. And it is a teenage boyhood dream come true at least for me and i know it will be for many others as well anyone who was a teenager or in their 20s in the 90s knows exactly what i mean these cars are incredibly gorgeous they sound good they drive good they're easy to drive shift smoothly nicely and you can enjoy them immensely my name is alec cartio and with this i leave you with a raw drive video and the sound